Hey, tech aficionados, buckle up, because today's deep dive is all about Google's ongoing legal showdown in India. That's right, the Mountain View giant is battling it out with the Competition Commission of India, and things are heating up in the Supreme Court. Let's get into the nitty gritty of what's going down. So what's the tea? Well, Google's in the hot seat over alleged anti-competitive practices related to its Android mobile operating system. The whole saga kicked off on March 29th last year, when the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal, basically India's antitrust police, served Google a mixed verdict. They upheld a whopping rupees 1,337.76 crore fine against Google, but they did toss out a requirement for Google to host third-party app stores on its Play Store. Mixed blessing? Anyone? As you can imagine, both Google and CCI saw room to appeal this decision. The CCI wants to uphold tighter restrictions, while Google is fervently hoping for some relief. Enter the Supreme Court, stage left. The bench, which includes Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud and Justices J.B. Pardewala and Manoj Misra, is now tasked with sorting out the mess. And according to Google's senior advocate Harish Salve, the arguments may stretch on for five, six days. Six days of courtroom drama? It's like the Netflix series we didn't know we needed. To recap, Google initially got smacked with this colossal fine back in October 2022 for leveraging its dominant market position unfairly. They were accused of twisting OEM's arms into pre-installing a suite of Google apps, none of which users could delete. Sneaky, right? The tribunal's verdict did ease some of these restrictions, affirming that users should be able to pick their default search engine during the initial setup and making it clear that OEMs shouldn't be forced to pre-install Google's app bouquet. And guess what? The story doesn't stop there. Google was required to cough up this penalty within 30 days of the verdict, after adjusting for a 10% prepayment they made in January. They were ripping Band-Aid off fast. But this isn't just about fines and restrictions. The Supreme Court has appointed lawyer Samir Bansal as the nodal counsel to collaboratively prepare digital pleadings from both sides. Think of him as the referee in this match of legal gladiators. Bansal's role is to streamline the mountain of paperwork involved, turning it into something even the judges can digest with ease. We can't forget the global implications here. Countries around the world are scrutinizing big tech for limiting competition, and Google's actions in India are on the radar everywhere. Just like Apple in Europe or Meta Platforms Inc., regulatory bodies are clamping down on monopolistic tendencies. It's a domino effect, and India is right there, pushing over the first tile. Stay tuned as we watch this high-stakes game unfold. Google's moment of reckoning in India could set precedents affecting tech giants all around the world. Courtroom drama at its finest, folks. Grab your popcorn. Thanks for watching to the end. Remember, this is just one story from our full daily show, which includes all the other news and an analysis of the day's tech market activity. If you found this video interesting or insightful, then please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Your support is greatly appreciated. Catch you later.